Hi folks, my name is Catherine and I run Kisby Deadly. I want to start by saying I am videoing this during the coronavirus pandemic. Um, it's in the UK, we are in lockdown. Um, it's the Easter Bank holiday weekend. It's all a bit surreal. And I know that a lot of people who start watching this are probably in much worse situations. I am lucky, I am safe. Um, so far it hasn't combined badly with any of my illnesses. Um, my friends who have got it have so far survived. Um, this might not be the thing for you to watch today and that's totally okay, don't feel compelled. It is silly and largely irrelevant to the big serious issues. I am filming it anyway because in the middle of all of this, a friend, hi Corinne, showed me a swimsuit with tentacles on it, got excited about it and asked me if there was any chance that it was any good because it was from dresslily.com which has a lot of stuff on it that looks really nice but it's a bit suspiciously cheap and I was like I mean I was stuck at home I might as well test it right <laughs> so I got suckered by their sales tactics into buying quite a few things and I will be doing a little bit of a blog entry but mostly what I need to tell you is when you buy a swimsuit for £15 then yes there are things that are lower quality than when you buy a swimsuit even on sale like uh, Dress Any in some days and the other similar shops kind of Rose Girl Shane that kind of thing a lot of what they do is just they simplify design and they go straight to factories and they don't do much in the way of kind of marketing expenses or dealing with customer service queries or any of that kind of stuff, the, the, the stuff that takes up time and energy and money. Um, they also manufacture in quantity, so like when you buy something from ours, like this swimsuit, this is sold out, I think a few hundred of them were made, like it's rare for anything to get into the thousands for companies like us and actually for Kiss Me Deadly own brand, sometimes we only make like 12 of a thing or even just one. Um, but for stuff that you buy from places like Dress City, you can assume that there are lots and lots and lots of them out there. I also tend not to buy anything from there that looks like it has an expensive photo because what that usually means is that it has been copied and what you'll get is nothing like the thing in the picture. If you're looking at a structured, tailored item with lots of fabric in it and it costs like 30 quid, that is not what you're gonna get. I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry. I know it would be great if you could, but honestly, you're better off looking for something better quality that's being sold secondhand than you are buying something cheap that is not gonna be what's advertised. So, with regards to specifically the swimwear, I'm gonna put up a little blog about some of the stuff that I bought and what the issues were. Um, I'm comparing it to our key swimwear range, which, I don't know if anybody's going to get out to swim this ship, but if you are lucky enough to be isolating or quarantined or somewhere near your own water or you just want to hang out on whatever spare bit of space you've got in a swimsuit, then we are stocking the Collective by Playful Promises swimwear range, which is very cute and very pin-up. Some of it is too cute for me. <laughs> I can't deal with pretending to be a kitsch watermelon, um, but this year I think the polka dots have been the most popular, which like, <sighs> me and Kiss Me Deadly Hounds have, a, have an ongoing fight about polka dots. They're not for me. I'm going to stick with just plain black. It's nice. It's nice. It's good. Um, I think the main difference I've noticed so far is like this has been stuck in a drawer, rolled up, compressed for a year. I took it out, I put it on, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't need anything. This fancy bikini top that I bought from them actually pretty good in some ways so for example it has adjustable straps which are actually quite expensive to produce and it has a lot of fabric in it again that would increase the price um <laughs> I put this through the washing machine because it was so crumpled and also because I have been in fabric factories and clothing factories and they are not not the cleanest of places ever so I tend to just put everything through a rinse when I get it and um, it's still crumpled because that's how cheap the fabric is. When you buy something very cheap, the fabric will be cheap and unfortunately that means it isn't always suitable. I can tell you that it didn't run in terms of colour but I haven't tested it in chlorinated water because the other way to cut the expense of making swimwear is to make it so that you make it with fabric that isn't suitable for most pools. It's fine in the sea, it's fine just in the washing machine on a cold wash, always a cold wash, 
no tumble drug. Um, but it doesn't survive chlorinated water. Sometimes it doesn't survive. Sometimes it doesn't survive sun, which is a weird thing to do for swimwear. Not quite sure why people cut money in that way, but there you go. The other thing is that the lining fabric is not as nice. It's very rough. Um, they tend not to line bits if they think they can get away without it because every bit of extra sewing, every bit of extra fabric is more money. And it's very short, even on me. I am five foot one, guys. And this plus size top, I believe, I think I bought, was it a 2XL? 3XL, it's 3XL, I am five foot one, and it is still risking showing my nips. So somebody didn't think that aspect of design through too much. Or, I don't know, maybe showing your nips is in fashion this year, but probably not. Uh, the other thing is that they have put some padding in it, in theory, to give you some support and to uh, cover up nipples if you live in a country where you're not allowed to show them in any way ever. Um, unfortunately, the way they've done the design means that the padding sits here. And, I mean, I'm 42 this year, and even my breasts aren't that far around in my armpits. I'm not saying it never happens, but it probably shouldn't be what you designed for. So that's how they've cut money on this one, and that's why this one's so cheap. It's still pretty cheap. I probably will end up wearing it, but I'm not really up for swimwear that needs steaming. This one's a bikini top. It is a molded cup. Um, it's not terrible. I'll show you photos later. It's not terrible, but it's a 3XL. And I am not, I'm not huge by the standards of the UK and it kind of just about covers me. It doesn't do a lot for me in terms of shape. Um, I have much better bikini tops, but they are more expensive because they are bikini tops that somebody has put a lot of time and effort and work into on the fit. They have wires in, uh, they have seams in places that actually do things. This is very cheap to produce and when you put it on that shows if you're smaller than me you won't have as many issues with it this again the uh this was the one that made her go can you tell me is it any good is it any good is it any good it's not terrible i quite like it i'm probably never gonna wear it swimming um partly because i'm really suspicious about whether it will survive chlorinated water um, partly because it is a touch too short in the body for me. Again, oh, and this is an XL by the way. I have got things in every size from S to 3XL. <laughs> the fit is very erratic. There's no consistency at all, which is not surprising because they're probably ordering for multiple people. There's probably not a QA thing. Nobody's kind of really thinking about size and consistency. I can't wholly blame them for that. We do do a lot of work on that. And even so, every time you change a factory, you can send the same pattern and the same fabrics and you get something that fits slightly different. Um, and happily with Lycra, you don't have to worry too much about it. Um, but yes, I am not totally convinced that this swimwear will be suitable for actual swimming, partly because they decided to save money that they wouldn't line the back. This is white. It's not lined. I am pretty certain that the back of it will go transparent in water. And whilst I basically don't have a nudity taboo at this point. Everyone else does, and I do try to bear that in mind when I'm in a public space. So I think this one is gonna is gonna get used for other things instead. Um, the flounce also solves a bit from the same problem that the rest of them did, which is again the fabric is sufficiently cheap that it has a bit of a tendency to crease, although it's not as bad as the printed one. The thing I really noticed, it has the same. So this is a. a soft cut but padded swimsuit and this is a soft cut but swimming swimsuit and this one does a much better job it's just better fitted for my particular demographic basically i am having to unfold the padding in this because when i washed it it folded up and started to move around within the hidden support panel inside the swimsuit bonus points for hidden support panels i honestly wasn't expecting it I genuinely thought this was just a really simple one piece with a flounce along the top. So that's great. I'm surprised it's expensive to do them. But if you do them this casually, um, they don't necessarily work all that well. Also, we tend to put something in under the bust because if you want your bust to be lifted and supported, then an under bust band is pretty critical. 
we would not part I don't know if you can see this but this is um, about a 15 millimeter wide piece of elastic with a pico edging here's the problem with that I would expect to see this in underwear I would not expect to see this in swimwear the reason for that is if you put normal elastic into swimwear and then you run in salt water or you run into chlorinated water it just it dies it dies really fast so my best guess and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to test this because I cannot go to a pool at the moment and also I'm not sure I'd entirely want to accidentally get a see-through swimsuit in central London um, my best guess is that this swimsuit will just not last very long it's really cute I really actually really like it but it's just got to last and that's what happens when you buy something cheap they're just different there is actually a reason behind the price difference so in the unlikely event that you are getting to a pool this year and I really hope that some of us do um, maybe just have a think about who you buy your swimwear from how long you want it to last if you just want to have infinite variety then feel free to buy the cheap things if you want something that's actually going to last and it's going to fit better and offer like a different shape and stuff then you're probably going to have to buy something slightly more expensive um, I hope that's useful uh, and I also hope you're all safe and I'll see you on the other side of this folks